Hi and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking stir-fried vegetables with dried shrimp. So let's start cooking. Now we'll prepare our vegetables. I have with me over here one whole eggplant, approximately 285 grams. Five pieces of ladies' fingers, approximately 66 grams. Some long beans which I have cut into the size of my little pinky finger approximately 75 grams plus minus a little bit more is fine no problem at all now of course if you just want to use two of these vegetables no problem at all total weight is approximately 420 430 grams around there all right you can replace one with the other no problem we we'll start off with our eggplant first i just shave off the top part over here just cut it at an angle we don't want to waste too much of our eggplant the reason why I'm showing you how to prepare the eggplant is because the eggplant oxidizes quite quickly so we need to soak it in salted water. We'll cut this into three pieces first, like this. And then we'll quarter it. This is what we want. Continue to cut the rest. Right, if your eggplant is a little bit on the thicker part, you can actually cut it into smaller pieces. Mine is actually quite thick, so I'm going to cut it again. Right, something like this would be very good. So continue to cut them before we soak them in salted water. Once you're done cutting up the brinjal or eggplant, prepare some water, a little bit of salt. The amount of salt you use is irrelevant as long as it's salted water. And we'll put all our eggplants in. Right, this is to prevent it from oxidizing. We just make sure that they have contact with the salt water so that it won't oxidize. We just set it aside for a while and prepare our lady's finger. Lady's finger, very straightforward. We just cut off the top part here. And we just have this. All right, this is done. Next, I'll show you how I prepare the brinjal again. Remove the eggplants from the water. Put it on a clean plate. You don't have to rinse them dry, it's fine, no problem at all. You add in a little bit of cornstarch. About two or three tablespoons of this. Basically, the cornstarch is to prevent the eggplant from soaking up too much oil when we shallow fry it later. Just give this a good mix. Okay, once you're done with this, I'll show you the next step. Now we're going to shallow fry our vegetables. Why this step is needed is because the three vegetables that we're using cook at different timing. So we are going to do a shallow fry so that they will be all cooked properly. Of course, if you do want to shallow fry them, you can actually blanch them. But shallow frying will take out the moisture and they will absorb the sauce better in a while. Over medium heat, heat up some oil just to make sure that oil is hot enough using a pair of bamboo chopsticks. Put it in. If you see bubbles rising up like this, that means the oil is hot enough. Be very careful when you fry this. First, we'll just put in our long beans. Cut them dry a little bit so they don't splatter that much. Move them around. Right, you'll see blisters forming on the green bean. So after the blister form, that means it's soft enough already. Just a little while will be fine. This will take about a minute or so. You can see there's less bubbles now, meaning that there's not much of a water content in the long beans. This is what we want. We want to soften them up. Right, as you can see over here, it's pretty blistered up already and this is ready to be removed. Don't turn off the heat, just remove the long beans. Next, we will fry our eggplant. Just put everything in. Same thing, just move them around a little bit. Right. Fry them until they are a little bit brown. We want to retain the beautiful color of the brinjal or eggplant over here. Just about a minute or so will be good. When they have started to brown like this, we'll remove them from the oil, as you can see. Right, a little bit yellowish, we'll remove them from the oil. Next, we'll fry our okra or lady's finger. Put everything in. Same thing, move them around. About a minute or so will be good. You also see blisters forming on the lady's finger. This is what we want. We remove them from the oil also once they are done. Right? Like this. Very nice. Remember not to turn off the heat. 
turn the heat to low now. We are going to fry our dried shrimp, but remove all the residues over here first. Make sure that oil is clean. The reason why I turn the heat to low right now is because the oil is very hot. I want to crispy fry my dried shrimp over here and not burn them, so I need the temperature to reduce a little bit. These 30 grams of dried shrimp, which I've soaked in 60 milliliters of water for approximately 15 minutes to soften them a bit and roughly chop them up. I'm just going to deep fry half of this to sprinkle on top of our vegetables when it's done. Now, of course, if you don't take shrimp or dried shrimp itself, you can use dried scallops and soak them the same way also, right? Just spread them around a little bit. Remember to keep the liquid that you soak the shrimp in. Move it around a little bit. We you know when it's done, it will be a little bit brownish in color. Remember to keep the heat low at this moment. When you don't see much of a bubbles, that means the shrimp are ready. I can turn the heat up a little bit to medium. The shrimp are almost done. Right, this is the color that we want. We will now remove them from the oil. Set this aside. Remove most of the oil, leaving behind about one to two tablespoons of oil so that we can put the dish together. Now we'll put the dish together using medium heat. Put in the rest of your dried shrimps. Fry them a little while. We want to get the fragrance out. This is what creates the umami taste for this dish. Just move them around. We'll add in our garlic when we can start to smell the beautiful fragrance from the dried shrimp. Now I'm smelling the fragrance from the dried shrimp. We'll add in our garlic. Four cloves of garlic chopped. Put everything in. Fry them until you can smell them. Wow, beautiful, beautiful fragrances coming up. Now we add in the liquid from the dried shrimp. Pour everything in. Add in also half a tablespoon of oyster sauce. Mix them up well. A little bit of sugar is needed for this. About one third of a teaspoon of sugar. Put it in. Now we add in all our vegetables. Pour everything in. Mix them up well. Right, beautiful. This is what we want. All right, now this is done. We'll just plate this and sprinkle the crispy dried shrimp on top. And it's time for our lunch. And now the dish is done. Let's have a taste. Smells very good. I really love this fragrance coming up from the garlic as well as the shrimp. Let's try this now. Mm. Soft. The umami taste from the dry shrimp and the garlic. This is really, really good. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. And now it's your turn to cook. See you. Bye-bye. Wow. Hey, funny. With steamed rice number one.